In a striking discussion, experts in a Russian TV studio deliberated over the potential abandonment of border regions by Russia, highlighting the possibility of a sustained Ukrainian military presence. Russian propaganda appears to be gradually preparing the public for potential territorial losses. This notion is being openly discussed by various speakers on Russian television. The topic prominently featured in the program Mesto Vostrechi, hosted by Andrei Nokin. During the discussion, speakers suggested that Russia might not only lose the Kursk region but also other border areas. They emphasized the necessity of remaining calm, adopting a cynical outlook despite the difficulty and focusing less on emotions. They urged viewers to look at the map, particularly a map of the vast Russian territory, and compare it with these potentially lost regions, suggesting the need to evacuate the entire border area, including elderly residents. Preparing for the worst-case scenario, the speakers mentioned that Ukraine might establish a stronghold in these areas, warranting what they described as a necessary sacrifice. One expert elaborated that while the expansion of the front might be strategically favorable for Russia, it poses significant image issues. Despite the grim predictions, Russia is reallocating forces to bolster the Kursk direction, although the front line is seeing conscripts from other regions instead of professional soldiers. Since August the 6th, the Ukrainian armed forces have launched a special operation in the Kursk region of Russia. During this time, Ukraine has taken control of 82 settlements in the Kursk region, covering an area of 1,150 square kilometers. A military commandment's office has also been established there, led by Major General Eduard Moskalyov. Earlier reports indicated that the Ukrainian armed forces had completely cleared the city of Sudza of Russian troops. Recently, the Russians claimed that Ukrainian forces had allegedly destroyed a bridge over the same river near the village of Glushkovo in the Kursk region, which is a crucial logistical artery in the area. Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Photos and videos purporting to show the destroyed bridge were published by the Russian Telegram channels, which claimed the bridge had been struck multiple times. The footage was taken by Russians walking on the bridge. The strike was carried out by a HIMARS missile. According to the Russians, the bridge was hit four times before, and this is the fifth. As a result of the impact, the car on the bridge caught fire and its occupants died. About 30 settlements near the village of Glushkovo, approximately 150 kilometers from Kursk, have been cut off due to the attack. Air Force Commander Mikola Olshchuk posted later a video showing the attack on the Russian bridge. The insider reported that the Glushkovsky district has three bridges across the Syme River, with the other two located near the settlements of Zvano and Kuriz. Roman Aliokin, an advisor to Kursk Oblast's acting governor and a Russian pro-war blogger, also claimed that Ukrainian forces are targeting the bridge in Zvano, about 7 kilometers from Glushkovo, in an attempt to seize part of Kursk Oblast along the river. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region, Telegram channels reported on Friday. Part of the Glushkovsky district that includes Tyatkino, Popovo Lazachi, Volfino, and about 27 other settlements, is now cut off following the attack. According to reports, one of the bridge spans has been destroyed after a strike from Himars, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, provided to Ukraine as part of military aid to Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are reportedly planning to seize the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. The evacuation of civilians is possible only by water. Roman Alakin, advisor to the acting governor of the Kursk region, has confirmed reports about the destruction of the bridge. It should be noted that in the Glushkovsky district of the region, logistic supplies for Russian troops are transported through the only road passing through this bridge. The destruction of the bridge is believed to significantly worsen the logistics of Russian troops in this area. According to local residents, Ukrainian troops have also attacked a bridge in the village of Zvanoy. Meanwhile, according to some reports, 700 Russian soldiers have been encircled in the area.